This is a Chucky Beat production. How's it going everyone? So, if you've been a part of this channel, you know that I've been building this thing for quite a while. I've been collecting parts and, well, it's finally up and running. For those of you that are new, this is my 95 Toyota Tacoma. It's a 2.4 liter 2RZ motor with a Garrett GT 3576 with a .82 rear housing, uh, running a 45 millimeter, 45 millimeter uh, treble smart wastegate, custom exhaust manifold by the Shed King out of Australia. You can see it down there. Also a custom forward facing intake manifold from the same guy, Shed King out of Australia. On these motors, the intake manifold usually routes over the, the, the valve cover and then uh, the intake goes down over here. So uh, for turbo applications, you want to get the, the forward facing intake manifold so that you don't have to have a crazy amount of piping. Normally, it would have to come over here, make a 180 degree turn, then come back over here and then back down and then into the intercooler. So now, I just have this going down and then right into the intercooler, so it's a lot less piping. So just a little bit more about the setup. Um, I'm running a three inch downpipe that I made myself. Uh, this is the first downpipe I've ever made and it's not perfect, but it's getting the job done. Uh, still using the, the stock throttle body and uh, IAC and TPS and all that stuff. So uh, it is still in the stock computer stock computer can handle around 8 to yeah 7 or 8 psi the AFRs look really good with 7 psi boost it's just running off a of, uh, wastegate spring right now it's got the 7 pound spring in there and uh, the AFRs are around uh, 14 to at, in boost so it's actually really good uh, I got the factory pink top injectors those are from 01 to 04 Tacomas I also have a 190 liter per hour Walbro fuel pump in the tank um, this is still running a distributor uh, the 95's don't have the coil packs like the newer Tacomas but uh, I am running the the colder plugs from NGK, the BKR7Es, I believe. Then I'm also running NGK wires that I wrapped in this loom just to uh, clean it up a little bit. And then I also have down there, not sure if you can see it, but it's a 34 millimeter Turbo Smart plumb back uh, blow off valve. It goes back into the intake that goes that feeds into the turbo uh, with the MAF you have to run those that type of blow up valve has to recirculate yes I'm still running the math uh, it's down there once I convert it over to a, a standalone ECU I will switch over to a map and then uh, I'll also convert it over to coil packs um, then I'll have a lot more flexibility as far as timing boost um, I can run a, a Atmosphere, atmospheric blow off valve and then uh, just a bunch of other stuff so I am running a just a generic uh, eBay, eBay uh, catch can setup and then also a vibrant vacuum block uh, I have one 
one so vacuum source from the intake manifold itself feeding into the vacuum block and then I have everything else teed off of that. So I got the blow off valve, the boost gauge, um, and also the brake booster. Actually that's plumbed into the intake manifold. The brake booster does have a check a one way valve in the in there so I don't have to worry about uh boost getting into it. So the brakes are still good. So this turbo is oil and water cooled. So I have the the uh oil feed that's going into the housing for the you won't be able to see it but let's see. Yeah, you can't see it, but it's it's in the housing for the the oil filter. There's a bolt in there that you can remove and then uh, put in some fittings. It's a dash four feed and a dash ten drain that goes into the back into the oil pan. And I do have the water lines connected. Those just go back into the heater 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 hoses up there on the firewall. And then lastly, I have this uh, Chase Bay's coolant overflow. Uh, I the the plastic one the stock one was sitting right here so it was in the way of the of the piping so I ended up getting this one here just clean up the bay a little bit and it's a nice piece so I wanted to get that in there I am still running the stock fuel pressure regulator but I do want to get one that is a boost reference regulator uh, as of right now it's running pretty good so I'm not crazy worried about it but that is something that I will eventually be doing on the inside it's not much but uh not much going on. I have AM gauges for the the boost and air AFR. So I have AM wideband and boost gauge. Um, I get a lot of questions about the cluster. It's actually a stock cluster. Um, most of combos don't come with the, the attack. So yeah, this is a stock cluster. I have the Momo Monte Carlo steering wheel with the energy quick release. So yeah, that's the energy quick release right there, and that's just a little backing plate I made for the steering column because uh, once you, you switch out the steering wheel, it has a big hole behind there, so I just wanted to cover it up and clean it up. It's made out of a carbon fiber sheet I got on Amazon. So yeah, that's basically it. This is my setup. Uh, I've been working on this thing for a long time. I've been saying that I'm going to turn away for years, and uh, it's finally happened. Uh, there's it's thanks to a lot of people that well not a lot of people but thanks to people that helped me out um, I did all this here in my garage uh, I fabricated the entire exhaust system myself the in intake and exhaust um, the intercooler piping I did it all myself the exhaust manifold had to be slightly modified I want to thank my friend Aaron uh, he's a very talented fabricator and he helped me out in the pinch and he got it done very fast. Uh, I want to thank the Shed King. He really hooked me up. I got the intake manifold, the exhaust manifold, the turbo, and my intercooler from him. Uh, so, huge thanks to him. Uh, I mean, this build would have been on hold for a lot longer if he wouldn't have helped me out. So, I really appreciate so it. If you guys got this far in the video, thank you for watching. Uh, just subscribe, share, do all that stuff. I'm trying to um, document this build as much as possible. I share my whatever works, whatever doesn't. So please uh, just keep watching and I'll keep posting updates. If you don't follow me on Instagram, that's where I post most of my updates. So go ahead and follow me there. It's uh, mjbtaco underscore and uh, that's where I post pretty much everything. So again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.